Hey, ask Aaron to begin uh, the reorganization meeting. Okay. Good afternoon. Uh, we can call the meeting to order. Today is uh, January 25th, 2023. It's the uh, reorganization meeting. Uh, I believe we have a reading of the public notice. Please be advised that the notice requirements of the Open Public Meetings Act have been complied with and satisfied. A notice of this meeting was sent to the official newspapers for the City of New Brunswick, namely the Central New Jersey Home News Tribune and the Star Ledger on January 17, 2023, was filed with the City Clerk, was placed on an appropriate bulletin board in the lobby of City Hall, New Brunswick, New Jersey, and was posted on the New Brunswick Parking Authority website. Thank you. Uh, at this time, we're going to ask if there's any nominations for officers. I'd like to make a, a nomination. Um, I'd like to nominate a slate, keep Kevin McTernan as president, uh, myself as, uh, or chairman, I should say, sorry, myself as uh, vice chairman, Maria as treasurer, and uh, uh, Andrea as secretary. Andrea as secretary. Okay. Uh, do we have a second on that? Second. Okay. I will call, call the roll. roll. <clears throat> Commissioner McTurney. Yes. Commissioner Caputo. Yes. Commissioner Ito White. Yes. Commissioner Soto. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Uh, Aaron, I'll. I'll Absolutely. Congratulations, everyone. Thanks. Yeah, congratulations, uh, Maria. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Andrew, on your new roles. I want to take a minute and uh, note for the record that uh, we have a new commissioner this evening, Maria Soto, um, who uh, has graciously agreed to serve uh, as a commissioner on the board. And uh, uh, given her uh, background in business, uh, we've asked her to succeed Luke Arlotti as our treasurer for the organization. Um, additionally, uh, Andrea will serve as our secretary, um, and we, we welcome you, and we look forward to working with you, and, and thank you for your dedication for doing this. You're welcome. Uh, I also uh, I have to take a moment for some uh, more unfortunate news. Uh, most of the committee knows, uh, and staff knows, that Commissioner Keefe passed away uh, last week. Uh, Ed Keefe was a... Um, a long time, uh, lifelong resident of New Brunswick and served this body for many, many years and prior to that served on, the, I believe, the zoning board and at the church and, uh, you know, he was uh, a, a model citizen and resident in that regard. He devoted a lot of his life to public efforts in New Brunswick, so uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, take a moment. I know we provided, uh, you know, some representation at the at the service. So I wanted to get that one out of the way. Uh, Ed Keefe was an important part of this organization for a lot of years. I didn't want to neglect to mention that. Um, okay, the next item, Matthew, is the adoption of the 2023 regular board meeting schedule. Yes. Yes, it is. For that, uh, we have essentially in every other month schedule on the fourth Thursday of the given month, beginning and not obviously merely this month, the meeting we will have right after this, but also in March and thereafter every other month. Now with the exception of December, that will not be on the fourth Wednesday, but the second Wednesday of the month. And we also have one staggered uh, meeting uh, in the fall for the budget adoption process. Okay. It'll be right here as usual at 5 p.m. Great. Okay, we have uh, quite a few of these to get through, so if you wouldn't mind, call the roll. Commissioner McTernan. Yes. Commissioner Caputo. Yeah. Commissioner Ido White. Yes. Commissioner Soto. Yes. Okay, the next is the appointment of the newspapers for the authority for 2024. This is the Star Ledger and the Home News Tribune. Okay, as in the page. Okay, can we uh, call the roll? And I, do we need a motion and second on this on these? Uh, I don't believe these are resolutions, typically. 
Um, if you normally do them, I would. Yeah. Okay. I'll move that. I'll second it. Thank you. Commissioner McTurnan? Yes. Commissioner Caputo? Yes. Commissioner Ida White? Yes. And Commissioner Soto? Yes. Okay, the appointment of an auditor for just, uh, the year ending. Uh, I think there's a typo on that. No, that's correct, right? It would be an auditor for the year end, ending December 22. Yes. Okay. So each year we have a, a financial audit of the prior calendar year, and we have a public process to receive bids for the various services that we're about to proceed through. In this particular case, we received a response from Witham, and the administration of the Parking Authority recommends that we uh, use Witham for this service. Okay. Uh, I'll move that to. I'll second it. Commissioner McTurnan. Yes. Commissioner, excuse me, Commissioner Caputo. Yes. Commissioner Ida White. Yes. Commissioner Soto. Yes. Okay, next is uh, appointment of a bond advisor for 2023. Uh, once again, we received one response for this particular category of services. It was Phoenix Advisors, and we do recommend uh, proceeding with Phoenix Advisors. I'll make a motion. A second. Commissioner Mc, McTurnan. Yes. Commissioner Caputo. Yeah. Commissioner Ida White. Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Soto. Yes. Okay, next is the bond trustee for 2023. Uh, this uh, item is through what is known as the non fair and open process, which allows for uh, using uh, services that are specialized or otherwise uh, needful. In, in this case, we are recommending, once again, Amboy National Bank. Okay. I'll make a motion for that. I'll second it. Commissioner McTurnan. Yes. Commissioner Caputo. Yes. Commissioner Ida White. Yes. Commissioner Soto. Yes. Next, appointment of the uh, Parking Authority Banks and Signatories for 2023. Cash management plan. This again is Amboy National Bank. It has been updated with the signatories uh, referencing our new Commissioner Soto. Uh, otherwise, straightforward process as each annual uh, protocol. Uh, okay. In a nutshell. Right, I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Commissioner McTurnan. Yes. Commissioner Caputo. Yeah. Commissioner Ito White. Yes. Commissioner Soto. Yes. Next is the appointment of parking enforcement officers for the authority for 2023. In this case, we have seven who are starting the calendar year with us. You'll see their names in the resolution. And we would ask for the blessing to for their continued service. I'll move that. I'll second it. Commissioner McTurnan. Yes. Commissioner Caputo. Yes. Commissioner Ito White. Yes. Commissioner Soto. Yes. Item K, appointment of a public agency compliance officer for 2023. For this item, uh, it's an annual protocol uh, for having someone on staff who is able to process these matters if and when they arise. We once again recommend Mr. Jimmy Lee. Okay. That I'll make that motion. I'll second. Commissioner McTurnan. Yes. Commissioner Caputo. Yeah. Commissioner Ida White. Yeah. Commissioner Soto. Yes. Item L, the appointment of Open Public Records Act officer for 2023. For this item, once again, it is uh, putting in place someone who is designated to receive and process OPRA requests. And for this year, again, we recommend our human resources manager. Alexandra Perez. Okay. I'll move that we accept that. I'll second it. Commissioner McTurnan. Yes. Commissioner Caputo. Yeah. Commissioner Ito White. Yes. Commissioner Soto. Yes. Okay. The uh, appointment of bond council for 2023. 
for this category of services, the authority received two responses. Uh, one from Wilentz, Goldman, and Spitzer, officed in Woodbridge, New Jersey, and one from McManaman, Scotland, and Bauman, officed in Roseland, in New Jersey. And the authority, uh, based on the scoring and review, recommends uh, Wilentz for this category of bond counsel. I'll make a motion to approve that. I'll second it. Commissioner McTurnan? Yes. Commissioner Takuto? Yes. Commissioner Ida White? Yes. Commissioner Soto? Yes. Uh, next is item N, appointment of general legal counsel for 2023. For this, <clears throat> the authority received bids from Florio Kenny Raval in Lindhurst, New Jersey, as well as Renone Coughlin Michello in Iceland, New Jersey, and recommends the latter, Renone Coughlin and Mancello, for the 2023 General Counsel of Services. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. Commissioner McTurney? Yes. Commissioner Caputo? Yes. Commissioner Ida White? Yes. Commissioner Soto? Yes. Uh, appointment of Special Legal Counsel for 23. For Special Counsel, the authority received Responses from Florio Kenny Raval, Lindhurst, New Jersey, Renown Coughlin Mancello of Iceland, New Jersey, and Wilentz Goldman and Spitzer of Woodbridge, New Jersey. And for this, uh, Special Counsel Services recommends Wilentz for this 2023 year. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second it. Commissioner McTurnan? Yes. Commissioner Caputo? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Ito White? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Soto. Yes. <clears throat> Next is appointment of a labor attorney. For labor attorney, the authority received a single uh, response from Apruzazi, McDermott, Mastro, and Murphy. And we therefore recommend the selection of this firm for labor attorney for 2023. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Commissioner McTurnan? Yes. Commissioner Caputo? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Ito White? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Soto? Yes. Okay, item R is the appointment of uh, parking structure design and engineering services for 2023. What about Q? Oh, sorry, parking consulting services. Thank you. For Parking Consulting Services, we received two responses. We received one from Dixon Resources Unlimited from, uh, or I should say, officed in San Diego, California, as well as one from Desmond, officed in New York City, New York, and perhaps more appropriately headquartered in New York City, New York. Um, and out of this, these two submissions for Parking Consulting, we recommend Desmond for 2023. They're from New York? The latter, uh, yes, that's New York City, New York. That's correct. I'll make a motion to approve that. I'll second. Commissioner McTurnan? Yes. Commissioner Caputo? Yes. Commissioner Ito White? Yes. Commissioner Soto? Yes. Okay, now we are looking for an appointment of parking structure design and engineering services for 2023. Yes, for this category, the authority received five submissions. One, again, from Desmond with an office in New York City, New York. One from Netta Architects, office in Mountainside, New Jersey. One from ONS Associates, Engineers and Architects, office in Hackensack. And one from O'Donnell, actually I should say, one from O'Donnell, Nakarado, having an office in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and one from Thornton Tomasetti, having an office in Newark, New Jersey. For this category, the authority recommends the selection of three uh, of the service providers, which would be available on an as-needed basis during the year 2023. The first recommendation is Desmond, as well as O'Donnell, Nacarado, and Thornton Tomasetti. Again, for start parking structure design and engineering services. I'll make a motion. I'll second. 
Commissioner McTrinan. Yes. Commissioner Caputo. Yeah. Commissioner Ido White. Yes. Commissioner Soto. Yes. I didn't ask the appointment of a real estate appraisal service for 2023. For this category, the authority received one response from Sterling, DeSanto & Associates, office in Somerville, New Jersey, and therefore recommend that we accept and use Sterling, DeSanto & Associates, if needed, for the year 2023. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Commissioner McTurnan? Yes. Commissioner Caputo? Yes. Commissioner Ito White? Yes. Commissioner Soto? Yes. Next is uh, appointment of CFO uh, Financial Services for 2023. In this category, the uh, authority again uh, utilizes the alternative process referenced earlier. And under what is categorized as non fair and open process in the state of New Jersey. And we recommend the utilization again of Bright Rajaratnam. Uh, under the name Bright Consulting Services, LLC, for the year 2023. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Commissioner McTurnan? Yes. Commissioner Caputo? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Ito White? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Soto? Yes. Next is um, appointment of on call electrical services for 23. What, tell me what that means, 23 through 24. Is that a one-year? Yes. So the, this, as well as the next item on the agenda, both entail a one-year uh, contract period with an option to extend at the authority's discretion for an additional one-year term. So therefore, it could potentially encompass 2023 and 2024. These are on-call, as-needed electrical services and plumbing you'll see in the next item. Okay. So who's the successful bidder for electric? For electrical, we received responses from four contractors. The first being Signal Electric Corporation, having an office in South Plainfield, New Jersey. Sunny Electric Incorporated, having an office in Kearney, New Jersey. Mall Power Group, having an office in Cranberry, New Jersey and Magic Touch Construction Company Incorporated having an office in Keyport, New Jersey. Of these four, we recommend selection of three to potentially be used during calendar year 2023, namely Signal Electric Corporation, Sunny Electric Incorporated, and Mal Mall Power Group Incorporated. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve that. I'll second it. Commissioner McTurney. Yes. Commissioner Caputo? Yes. Commissioner Ido White? Yes. Commissioner Soto? Yes. Okay. Item V, appointment of Encore Plumbing Services for 23 through 24. For plumbing services, the authority received responses from Robert Griggs Plumbing and Heating LLC, having an office in Belmead, New Jersey, and also from Magic Touch Construction Company Incorporated, having an office in Keyport, New Jersey. And the authority recommends proceeding with Robert Griggs Plumbing and Heating LLC in Belmead, New Jersey for 2023. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll oh, second. Commissioner McTurnan. Yes. Commissioner Caputo. Caputo. Excuse me. Yeah. Commissioner Caputo. Commissioner Ito White. Yes. Commissioner Soto. Yes. It was a resolution authorizing purchase contracts with certain approved cooperative pricing systems. For this resolution, the authority each year establishes uh, a framework for purchasing opportunities under various purchasing co-ops. And there are several that the authority has been partaking in over the years. And for 2023, this includes the Cranford Police Cooperative Pricing System, the Educational Services Commission of New Jersey, the Hunterton, Hunterton County Educational Services Commission, the New Jersey Parking Co-op, the Somerset County Co-op, the Sourcewell Co-op, co and the State of New Jersey Contract Opportunities, known as NJ Start. 
Okay. I'll make a res I'll uh, make a motion that we approve those groups that you mentioned. Commissioner McTurnan. Yes. Commissioner Caputo. Yeah. Commissioner Ito White. Yeah. Commissioner Soto. Yes. And finally, uh, I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. Okay. Commissioner McTurnan. Yes. Commissioner Caputo. Yeah. Commissioner Ito White. Yes. Commissioner Soto. Yes. Okay. Uh, Everybody's okay. I'd like to move on to the regular meeting of the Informs of Parking Authority for January 25th. Matthew, would you be the notice again? Yes. With pleasure. Please be advised that the notice requirements of the Open Public Meetings Act have been complied with and satisfied. The notice of this meeting was sent to the official newspapers for the City of New Brunswick, namely the Central New Jersey Home News Tribune, and the Star Ledger on January 17, 2023, was filed with the city clerk, was placed on an appropriate bulletin board in the lobby of City Hall, New Brunswick, New Jersey, and was posted on the New Brunswick Parking Authority website. Okay, Matthew, you have anything to uh, report this month? I would uh, simply say that uh, it was it was an honor to, to work with Mr. Edwin Keefe uh, for the last couple of years, portions thereof. Uh, he was very faithful to the Parking Authority. And not only that, he served on the City of New Brunswick Traffic Commission, where I had the, the opportunity to likewise serve with him uh, even very recently in December. Every time I saw Ed, he would always say to me the first time he, he walked up, uh, the moment he walked up, on each occasion, he would say with a smile on his face, how's the wife? How's the little swimmer? And how's the runner? Referring to my two boys with their activities that he well remembered, and whether it be swimming lessons or cross country and track. And it was uh, certainly uh, heavy news to see the, the loss that we just experienced and, and to feel that. And it was also an honor to, to participate in, in uh, some level of that. Um, going away um, services over the weekend. Um, that would be the, the sum total of my report for today. Okay, thank you. Right, any... Uh... The <coughs> December preliminary financial report should, should be going out tomorrow or this end of this okay, week. So yeah. Okay, so we get And the 21-22 OPEC report is finally released. So. We should have the exit conference sometimes next week for the 21 order. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. Any legal report tonight? Nothing to report tonight. Thanks. Any public comment this evening? Yes, please. Good evening, Commissioners. Uh, Charlie Cradiville from New Brunswick, editor of New Brunswick Today. I want to start by welcoming the new member. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you for your service. And uh, I also want to express my condolences on the, the loss. Um, you know, and he's been on the, the commission as long as I've been coming to the meetings, and he was always a very pleasant person. He's probably the only person on the board who I never butted heads with, and I really appreciated um, you know, his uh, good, kind heart and his good uh, spirit that he would uh, bring to every, every meeting I would see him at. So he will certainly be missed, and I want to um, you know, echo what's been said about him. The uh, questions for today are uh, much the same as they've been in the past. I wanted to ask about the debt for the authority and what the forecast is for the coming year in terms of, um, you know, how much debt do you have now and by this time next year, where do you think that number will be? Okay. Right. What's our current debt? Uh, do you know? Current uh, 219 a uh, million four four hundred thousand. Uh, next year, I think it will come down by a ten million principal payment. So maybe like two ten, two oh nine, yeah. somewhere. Okay. Thank you. And then, uh, you know, the other point is the commercial real estate that the authority is in charge of. Um, we saw uh, just recently Red's Beer Garden vacate, move out, and uh, you know that leaves a hole. 
not just in the authority's budget and the finances of the taxpayers in New Brunswick, but a hole in our you know, fabric of our downtown. So now I just want to paint the picture, Easton Avenue, the Gateway Project, the building we're in now, Red's is vacant. Uh, Kenny's Corner, uh, Easton Avenue site, vacant. Victory Taxi, vacant. So that entire block of Easton Avenue has basically been, you know, um, right near the train station too. Great, you know, place for foot traffic, great place for, um, you know, productive economic development. And right now we don't have anything to show for it. Similarly, the real, um, you know, elephant in the room is the, the supermarket space where, um, you know, it's been vacant, I think, more often than it's not been vacant. And, of course, now there's an arrangement with the county for them to uh, take it over and turn it into a law enforcement facility. And I wanted to ask for the latest update on that process. When might they finally start paying rent and doing something there? And, you know, can we think of anything better than a, a, a law enforcement facility for that prime piece of real estate? So we have, uh, we're working with other agencies, real estate agencies, to look for tenancies for the spaces that you just mentioned in this building. And, uh, you know, and when those come to fruition, we'll certainly bring it to the board's attention okay. and to the public's attention. But, but right now, I think we're, we have feelers out. We've had people contact us about the space with a, several different ideas. So I would hope that within the next a couple of meetings, a month or two, that we'll have uh, answers for that. Okay. And how about the supermarket? Is there any progress uh, to report? Later on in the agenda, we have uh, we'll start the uh, we have a resolution to start the demolition of that space, so that the county can then begin their uh, renovation and begin paying rent. Okay. Any idea on timeline for when it might finally get to that phase? I would I would ask uh, Matthew to get more specifics on that, and he can answer that for you. I don't know the answer to that right now. Thank you, sir. And I just want to reiterate that I think that there's got to be something better that can be done there. Um, you know, this is a government entity. The county is a government entity. We should be working together to make New Brunswick the best it can be. And um, you know, I think that uh, there's there's got to be some better, higher use for that important space than what's currently proposed. And so I just encourage, since it's still in flux and still not coming to fruition, um, that other ideas be explored, obviously, with the county, um, because I think we can, can and should do better. And that's all my remarks for today. Thank you. Thank you for your comment. Is there any other board discussion before we get to resolutions? If not, Matthew, uh, what do we have tonight? We have the uh, regular payment resolution for the ongoing expenses of the authority, providing for uh, paying uh, the liberty yeah. of the operations to, to move forward. Okay, I think we've seen that. Uh, I'll make a motion to uh, approve the payment resolution. I'll second it. Commissioner McTurnan? Yes. Commissioner Caputo? Yes. Commissioner Ito White? Yes. Commissioner Soto? Yes. Okay, resolution, the second resolution is approving the demolition services by Two Brothers Contracting. Uh, which uh, we received a while ago, and that would be the interior space, the former supermarket space within Wellness Plaza, to sort of uh, demo the area to make it a more uh, seamless uh, rectangle, essentially. I'll make a motion, and I'll second it. Commissioner McTurnan. Yes. Commissioner Caputo. Yes. Commissioner Ito White. Yes. Commissioner Soto. Yes. Okay, thank you. Any uh, old or new business that anybody needs to bring up? If not, Matthew, you have a closed session item? One item of closed. This and under personnel. will there be a, a vote? Yes, we would anticipate that? a vote uh, if the board okay. desires for the uh, okay. 2023. Very good. All right. I'll. Uh, Ask for a motion to go into closed session. I'll make a motion. I'll second Commissioner McTurnan. Yes. Commissioner Caputo. Yes. Commissioner Ito White. Yes. Commissioner Soto. Yes.
Okay.